Hey guys, welcome back again uh, to the channel. So today I'm going to show you how you can do a clean install of the new drivers that you might have. In this case, I'm going to use the NVIDIA display drivers, but uh, this method obviously applies also to AMD. So basically it's the same thing. And I say a clean install, not by using the method that uh, is done uh, while installing the display drivers because there is a method where you can check the clean install but this is a really clean install because uh, by using ddu we can wipe all the previous data from our old drivers and then install uh, the new drivers without any trace uh, of the previous drivers that we already had on our system and this is recommended to do obviously when you are having problems with your display drivers but also it is recommended also to do when um, uh, when you do uh, the up upgrade normally like uh, you you see in here for example i have the version uh, 461.4 for the nvidia drivers i can just download the driver and begin the procedure and basically this is going to be an update is not going to be a clean install so i do this clean install every two to three updates so basically i do a clean install then for the next version of drivers or two three maybe i do just a normal update for the drivers and then on the fourth or fifth uh, um, update for the drivers then i do a clean install which i'm going to show you today and i decided to do this video because i see many people having problems with their drivers uh, and also uh, as i already mentioned it is recommended to do from time to time a clean one so uh, we delete all all of our old uh, files that we have from our old version of the drivers and obviously do a fresh install for the new one okay and as i mentioned the first thing to do basically you just go into google and search for ddu hit enter and all the pages that have the ddu or display driver and installer you can download it i trust uh, guru 3d if you don't want to use third-party drivers uh, or pages in this case you can use the wagner uh, dsoft uh, official uh, ddu page you can use this one in here but as i told you i trust uh, guru 3d so i always use these guys it's basically the same thing so you go to the page we grab obviously the link for download we will wait a little bit here for the download now okay the download has begun that's basically it then you open the file then we extract them you can extract them whatever you want but i'm just going to extract them on the download page but you can extract the files whatever you want it doesn't matter just extract them okay and after extracting the files then we go to the folder we open the folder and in here you will see display driver uninstaller so basically before we go ahead with this one what i like to do is go then to the official nvidia page nvidia.com then you go to drivers geforce drivers and from here we're going to download the geforce experience which basically is going to be the latest version and it's going to automatically install our uh, latest version of the driver that we have but if you want you can also do a manual research but i suggest you use the geforce experience because we uh we're going to use geforce experience anyway so yeah basically we download this one also and after the geforce experience is downloaded obviously we have it on our uh, download folder then we go back to ddu we open uh, ddu display driver uninstaller now if you don't have ddu and this is um, uh, this is for the first time that you open it as you see it uh, gives me uh, a message in here where it says that uh, known to interfere with uh, msi so basically i have always msi running so it, as you see it will close up msi msi it will do it automatically so if you have it uh like me then you need to do the same thing then you hit on apply uh then obviously it's uh it we will get the message that uh, this seems to be the first time you launch a ddu as i already mentioned now if you are on to on to this um uh this particular case you just hit on okay because we need to do something in here uh when this page comes up we need to enable the advanced option change at your own risk don't you worry it's not uh, 
it's not important we need to enable the safe mode dialog because by being and installing or uninstalling the drivers in safe mode we are going to be sure that we are going to wipe out all the previous data or the all the old data from our previous driver so we definitely need this one so basically you just hit on enable safe mode dialog okay and now we're done so now if you don't have that message coming up automatically as uh, i got it you go to options in here and there you have it you make sure that you have enabled safe mode dialog enabled and then you close and we are ready to go all right now we are at the point where we need to uninstall the previous drivers and to do that obviously we're going to do that uh, in safe mode so the wipeout is going to be complete and we're going to be a hundred percent sure uh, that we're going to wipe out all of our uh, previous uh, or old driver data and then we're going to do a fresh install without having anything old in there now i forgot also to mention uh, something in here on the advanced options uh, the second option in here where it basically uh, says that prevent downloads of drivers from windows update when windows search for uh, driver for a uh, for a driver for the device basically if you want to go one step further and do all your installation manually you can click this one also but it's okay uh, it doesn't interfere much uh, the important thing uh, about this method is that we need to wipe out all the old data from our system that's the most important uh, stuff to do and basically in here uh what uh, does that uh, possible is the enable safe mode dialog uh, basically wiping the data while we are on safe mode so basically now we need to load our system into safe mode and now you guess it obviously the next step to do is to boot our system into safe mode and then do the procedure of cleaning out our old drivers and to do that it's really simple basically you just go uh, down here on the search bar and you type in ms config so we go into system configuration hit enter and here on the boot tab if we go to boot tab you will see boot options safe boot so basically you check the safe boot obviously you check minimal safe boot then you hit apply ok and we're going to uh, restart uh, the system in safe mode now from uh, from this moment on obviously i will have to record the screen because uh, i cannot record while i am booting the system uh, especially in safe mode so yeah from now on is going to be a voice over uh, and obviously i'm going to film the screen uh, with uh, my uh, with my phone so basically we just hit ok and uh, restart the system and then we're going to be on uh, safe uh, safe mode when the system is going to get booted up okay and basically that's it we hit on restart the system basically to restart uh, the pc and obviously when the pc is going uh, to get uh, booted up next time as you see we are now in a safe mode so from here obviously the windows has loaded the minimal uh, the minimum setup uh, that it needs to run so basically we are going to be sure to uh, to work properly you will see that you are on safe mode on the uh, left upper hand corner of the screen uh, as you see there safe mode and obviously in the middle you will have uh, the windows version that you currently own now we are ready to begin so we go where we uh, got uh, the ddu folder we open ddu now basically it is really simple we select the, our gpu mine is nvidia in this case if you had any other gpu installed before or drivers in that matter amd for example or maybe intel gpu you might go ahead and uninstall those first without restarting the system you don't need to restart the system for those and uh, if you are into my same uh, position basically you just hit clean and restart and the procedure is going to begin now depending on the speed of your system it might take a minute a couple of minutes 10 minutes so it depends how fast your pc is going to be the system is going to reboot itself uh, the screen might flicker might go black don't you worry all it's normal but basically the most important thing is that we're going to delete all the traces from our 
uh, previous drivers, the old drivers. But now, as you see, uh, it has finished, the system is restarted. And again, when we're going to get uh, to boot up again after this restart, we are still going to be in safe mode because obviously we didn't change um, uh, the boot up uh, method from safe mode. So now we need to go ahead and uh, remove that. So basically the same thing, go to search and we type there MS config to go to the system configuration as we did uh, at the beginning. Then we go to boot tab and we untick the safe boot mode. Click apply, click OK, restart the system. And now we are going to get into Windows normally. But obviously this time we're going to be without any drivers installed, as you might already guessed. And you will see that the screen is going to uh, to freak out uh, because obviously it doesn't know what to do because it doesn't have any drivers and this is really easy you just go to the display settings from the desktop desktop and set the resolution to your monitor resolution so at least in this way you will see a little bit better and also you will see that the screen is going to uh, to be normal like uh, it was before. So now we are ready to begin with the installation of the new driver. So we go to the GeForce experience that we downloaded before continuing the procedure. That's why I do it uh, at the beginning. So it will be here already. So you don't have to uh, go into internet and get uh, the GeForce experience. But I, but I already have it here. And obviously we begin the procedure to, for the installation. I'm pretty sure you guys uh, all know how to do that. It's really easy. So basically just uh, follow the steps um, and um, yeah, that's it. Uh, just wait for the installation of the GeForce experience first and then we can go ahead with the next step. Basically, uh, the first thing we need to do is log in into the uh, GeForce experience. If you don't have an account, you can create it very easily. After you log in, uh, we will get the screen where it says that basically we don't have any driver. And, um, and obviously that's normal because we just installed GeForce experience and not the driver itself. So for that one, uh, it's really easy. We just uh, hit on continue and we have the latest driver that is available for our GPU in there. And basically on the drivers tab, on the drivers tab, you can go ahead and download the latest driver uh, that you want to install. If you, for some reason, want another version, you can choose it manually from the NVIDIA website, but I don't see anything why you would do that. So we wait for the download, then the uh, procedure for installing the driver will begin obviously automatically. I would suggest you use custom installation, not express installation, but you can use also in express installation is fine but i use custom installation because when we get into the screen where it shows us what to select we hit on perform clean installation which i normally use when i update the drivers but in this case it's not that important because we have done the driver wipe with ddu okay now you're basically done you just close uh what you have done you have latest geforce you have latest drivers and now basically just restart the system and we'll pick up from there. Okay, and after the, re the last restart in this case, basically all the drivers should be installed. So when you go down here, you will see the NVIDIA settings. When you right click on it, you should be able to see NVIDIA GeForce Experience and NVIDIA Control Panel where basically uh, you can do uh, you can do the controls for GeForce Experience as I already showed you, and the control panel for the settings um, uh, for your GPU if you want to use those. If you don't have uh, one of these in here show up, that means that something has gone wrong, so you need to repeat the procedure that I just show you showed you. So yeah, basically that was it, guys. Uh, as I already mentioned at the beginning, this is a procedure that it is recommended to do from time to time after two to three updates that you do through NVIDIA GeForce Experience. Uh, at least the fourth or the fifth one, you need to do it uh, with the DDU 
uh, with the DDU method here because uh, that's more safe you are going to wipe out all the old files from the previous versions of the driver so you won't end up into a conflict or something like that but especially if you are having problems with your Nvidia drivers or AMD drivers basically it's the same thing uh, for Nvidia also obviously uh, it changes only the uh, the layout for the drivers that the, the different companies use but basically it's the same thing and uh, yeah it's uh, highly recommended if you are having problems with your GPU or with your drivers itself uh, with the recording settings or anything it might be related to the GPU drivers so yeah there you have it boys again thank you very much for being here as usual don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already also turn on notification um, like share dislike uh, leave a comment all those, uh, those good stuff that you guys know and yeah as usual i will catch you guys on the next one bye bye